Hey guys, it's Lucky Neffy here. Um, I'm here to give a updated settings guide. I know many of you are watching my older one, but it is frankly quite out of date. So I'm going to show this one, and uh, this essentially will give you an up-to-date guide on what kind of settings I use to play optimally. I am on a 1660 Super. Uh, I will do a console, PS5, and Xbox guide later on. But for this, right now, it is predominantly PC. So, uh, you can display mode. It's completely up to you. Uh, borderless window or full screen. I just play on full screen. Um, render scale. Uh, DirectX 12 will soon be supported. Don't worry about that. Uh, your graphics API. But render scale, I like to have it like a little under 100. I usually have it at 85. It really depends on, you know, how Naraka's feeling <laughs> is the best way to put it. There is an optimize button that you can press to optimize everything. But it doesn't really do what it's supposed to do. So we're going to start it from the very beginning, what your default settings are going to look like. So I'm going to have it 100. I'm going to apply. Always remember to hit A to apply or uh, whatever your uh, controller settings are for your uh, confirmation button is. Uh, it probably is X or A. X on the PlayStation control, A on the Xbox control. So display mode as purely per preference. You mostly probably would use borderless windowed, right? Or windowed. Or full screen these are like the two that you usually use resolution you don't got to mess with that it's usually 1920 to 1080 you could obviously make it smaller if you want to max frame rate i just have it on unlimited right that generally uh you don't want the frame rate to not dip or like mess around uh filter this is purely preferential i like wild grass because it makes things more vivid right hdr display well if you have a gpu that has it um then you need hdr but it also requires grx 12 so generally you're gonna have that off brightness i have it around like this much around this area it's good enough so obviously you can always adjust it a little more to make things a little bit more bright but you don't want it too bright V-Sync, I have that off. Uh, Anti-aliasing, you can have that off. Or SMAA or TAA. It's really just up to how you want the game to look. Like how a jagged you want it to look. I think this is fine. SMAA or TAA is fine. Uh, motion blur, you want to have that off. NVIDIA DLS, uh, it, it, it might help. It's really just like if your graphic card supports it or if it doesn't. Um, but because you're not really playing uh, for, you know, graphic fidelity, it's generally not necessary to have it off on. There's a NVIDIA graphics uh, enhancement. Um, I just have this off. NVIDIA reflex, I just have this off. The video highlights, I just have this off. Uh, you can have it on if you do use the video highlights. I prefer metal. Um, the video highlights is probably more optimal for CPU usage uh, and GPU usage in terms of recording your gameplay in the last a couple of seconds. So, quick set graphics, you can set this on the lowest. The reason why we want it lowest is because we're playing, we're trying to play not for graphic fidelity. And obviously, if you want things pretty, you want things pretty. But this is meant more, more of a guide to play at the optimal level so that your frame rate is good, right? And you're playing at a competitive. So having it on lowest is ideal. You'll have the ambient occlusion, all this will be off automatically. You just want all of these things off, right? Post processing, you also want it lowest. So that it helps for your graphics and frame rate now for sound i turn off all the background music if you like the background music obviously you could have it on right um i just have it completely off because i listen to music uh it also can be quite distracting when you're uh, checking the music's great don't get me wrong but it can be quite distracting when you're listening for enemies uh mic volume 
I generally have it around this. This will be this is basically what how people hear you. Voice chat is the incoming voice chat. So like what 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 people are speaking into their mics. So generally you can either have this off or on. I like to have it on because the proc chat in the pre lobby and so I can talk mad shit for no particular reason. And then uh, all sound effects. So this I just have twenty four nine environmental sounds. You know it's somewhere around here. You don't have it to have it at nine like me. These all need to be relatively low. Bane breath like. You can literally turn that off if you want. However, I like to have it like slightly on so I can know that a brain, you know, get the notification that a brain breath is happening. Uh, UI, relatively low. All the voices, relatively low. Showdown cutscene volume, I just have it hella low because that shit is not not audio engineered properly. A video, like any cutscene, cinematics, heroes, weapon cosmetics, just have that on the low instrument volume uh, so that's in the pre lobby probably want to put that a little lower so when you're in your pre lobby you don't have people like it's nice when people know how to play their instruments but it's not so nice when people don't know how to play the instruments uh open mic i generally have this off mainly because uh you don't want to be talking most people use discord right um audio imagery this is just if you're using headphones or speakers, it's not that important. Hero voice, I like to have it on the default voice, which is Chinese. Uh, hero voice toggle, you can even like mute them if you don't want to hear them at all. However, I do think it's important to have it on, um, just so that you can hear notifications uh, from the heroes, like "Hey, I'm under attack." "Hey, I need help." That type of thing, or like you know, pings and that type of stuff. The bites of the voice, this might be useful for new players. Because it does give you some advice on how some of the gameplay mechanics in BR. But because it's AI voiced, it's hella cringe. So I'm turning that shit off. <laughs> so, yeah. It's it's just this bad text-to-speech AI voice. So, custom buttons. So, this is most. This is completely preferential. There are just a few things that you want to look out and probably want to bind. And that is your unarmed where you sheath your weapon, because you do want to fight unarmed sometimes. Especially at the start when you're trying to find a weapon and you can only find ranged weapons. You want to switch to your unarmed state so that you can fight unarmed. Because you're better off doing that than playing just rage. Quick counter is useful. It's just a one-stop button for a crouch uh, pairing. And it will cancel move you out of most of focus states. And it's very specific situations, but it is good to have. Um, and then I, what is there anything else in terms of other than those two everything else is predominantly uh, up to the player on what they feel comfortable with both on the keyboard and also mouse and also controller uh, view sensitivity and aim sensitivity I just have it at 29 but that's also just completely player based Controller settings, I can go through this a little bit. So I have a custom setting for controller. So this is like based off of Xbox controllers. I use the left trigger and right trigger for my horizontal and vertical. Uh, quick counter is my Y. My pickup repair is X. X and A is my ultimate. I just push those two together. Left bumper is my skill. Right bumper is my grappling hook. And uh, replace equipment is my down X on the D-pad. Dodge is my left stick in. I'm just used to that. And my crouch is B. <clears throat> and with controller settings, this is what I have. Uh, this is all based on player. Uh, for combat, you definitely want to attack from stick direction, not from camera direction. It's a huge advantage. Do not want auto lock on. Aim assist, you can turn it off completely. Weak, weak aim assist. I think this is mainly for range. It's not really like maybe melee assist on. It also affects. It's not really clear, but I just have it on weak. This stuff, make sure it's off. Uh, controller vibration, generally wanted to have it off. I don't mind having it on. So now we're getting into the things that are more universal. Gameplay. So you have grappling hook aim assist. You want that on. Grappling auto is fine. 
if you want more precise stuff you can toggle and auto uh, hold auto is just generally it's just you hit q you look in a direction you'll grapple to it right you'll cling on you'll, you'll just immediately grapple into it um auto for controller grappling aim mouse and keyboard auto aim controller auto aim unscoping auto melee aim assist mouse and keyboard have that on there's no reason to ever have it off melee aim assist controller uh and camera uh, aim assist and camera shift range weapon haptic feedback vibration feedback i just have it off there's no reason to have it on unless you like i guess you when you're pulling your bow you can have it vibrate i don't know <clears throat> auto run have that off for sure auto run is never useful because of just the nature of neutral and moving in naraka all this i have tap but this is also just preference if you want to tap or hold on beam jumps on stuff this is off by default ceiling interaction it is important to have it on so that you don't have to waste a grappling hook or use a grappling hook you just have to scare rush onto a ceiling scroll weapon swap um you can have that on or off it's purely uh, player based but um generally with weapon swap combos and just so that you can have ease of access to your inventory to pull something else to switch with scroll is should be on this is all like spectator camera we don't have to worry about that don't have to worry about uh lobby camera settings this is interesting you can actually have a um <clears throat> watermark on it or have it off but it's not that important so assist button prompt settings i have that off you can have it on uh this is just for new mostly newer players so you can learn what the inputs are on your left of your screen all this uh da connection status have that on so you know if your opponent is lagging or not or if you're lagging damage amount i have it on so you know your damage values alley say through effect it's good to have them see through so that you know they're not blocking the vision of things auto pick up on on uh you can have it on off so it doesn't auto automatically picks up another item nearby when you fail to pick up the first the actual item that you want <clears throat> so pick up weapon limits this is pretty important this is what majority of people use on uh, their pickup limits settings so default before you get your first inventory slot is two two and then grappling hook is three weapon repair kit is one and then once you expand you're essentially just adding one to each thing and then weapon repair kit is still one and then healing berries armor powder grappling hook would be three four four and then two for weapon repair kits obviously um the point of this is so that you don't pick up too much of a thing while you're mashing to pick up things you can always change and alternate what's actually in your inventory sorry if it's uh, not too many grapples or too many repair kits or that type of stuff. So we're going to go to the last part, which is social. Have these on unless you're trying to, like, you know, have everything off. You can turn voice chat off. Uh, you can turn public chat off so that lobby and prox chat, you don't have that off. This is especially good for streamers because some people say naughty words that you don't want to hear on stream. And, you know, they scream racial slurs at the top of their lungs with no repercussions. So sometimes having that off is ideal. I generally like to have it on because I generally don't run into those people. And if I do, ban that ass, right? Invite settings, have that on. Justice Chamber, have that on. Directly team up with match players at the end of the match. This setting cannot be changed during the match. Auto save match teammate. I've never actually used this setting, mainly because I play with free mates, but it is something that you could turn on if you want to play with your last played people. But knowing the nature of randoms, that is very unlikely. <laughs> so privacy settings. Uh, you can have all the season stats on. I don't know why you would hide any of this stuff, right? send friend wrist test like you know none of, none of these there's no real reason to have these on or off security lock for star collections this is new but 
<laughs> I have no idea what this is in terms of what the star collections are, so we don't have to worry about that. Let me just double check if that was everything. Yeah, that looks like that's everything. Um, so the only other thing is in terms of UI, always check the event center. Always try to get rid of the red dots as much as you can. Um, your avatar titles and achievements are all here. What new avatar did I get? Gold. So, <clears throat> if you have any questions, you feel you to join the Naraka Discord, you can ping me in there. Or you can always find me, leave a comment here, and I will try my best to get to you as soon as possible. Um, other than that, UI-wise, there is all this stuff, but we will cover it at another video. This is Lucky Neffy from Blazer Elite Gaming, signing off, and I hope to see you on the battlefield.